What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you on Lucid. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, talk on the latest Easter egg that Lucid has been giving investors, as well as Saudi Arabia's potential use for Lucid. So I'm going to go over all that, but first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. With that, let's get right to it. So today was a pretty volatile day as a result of PCE numbers coming out a little bit better than anticipated. So right now people are trying to digest whether rates are going to be cut sooner or later. I think the consensus now, given the latest data, it is going to be in May. So that's kind of what the market is factoring in today. Um, so Lucid did pull down though 0.38% after hours is making that up. Very low volume. So 21.8 million shares being traded. 44 is the average. You can tell just a lot of barcoding that was algorithmic trading so ai trading in among themselves and plus because you can kind of cross reference it with this so these are all the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market above one hundred thousand dollars so you can kind of see just big money was not necessarily getting into lucid they probably took the day off as what usually happens on a Friday so because Fridays typically do have lower volume. But today there was no news, no SEC filings uh, from Lucid itself. Unofficially, there was this. So Lucid came out, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, saying that they did complete their phase two at the AMP1. So that's very good. Uh, of course, their capacity now goes up to around 90,000. Hopefully, they'll be able to do somewhere remotely close to that um, as far as their 2024 guidance but still they also did allude to the mid-size suv alluding to that's going to be coming out 2026 fifty thousand dollars so i think that's going to be a very good thing um hopefully they do talk on that in the upcoming earnings uh, right around the corner but still this is another one of those easter eggs that lucid investors can really hang on to and start to speculate because lucid investors love to speculate but over and above that though i'll go over saudi arabia's potential use for lucid in a second i want to talk on shorts so despite everything there is a new record high for shorts so right now 30.74 percent of the free float is being shorted shorts did increase 1.37 million shares today 272.13 million shares overall are being shorted and cost of our average is going up a little bit in comparison to yesterday but 31.17 percent that is crazy like look at this like shorts have just i don't know why i'll get rid of all this crap so you guys can generally see but shorts have just massively just been getting into lucid over the last little bit so it is at record highs right now crazy uh i don't know i see companies in the ev sector that don't produce anything and have lower short interest than lucid so like i've said before this is just me speculating but someone is trying to take lucid down i don't know if it's correlated to maybe someone in the states or maybe the pif i have no idea but this definitely is makes you question things but over and above that i want to give a quick shout out to this individual he did forward me a tweet and this tweet kind of does allude to potentially what might be coming from saudi arabia and maybe their use of lucid so i think this video right here did showcase actually i'll just pause it but this video did showcase potential new i guess police vehicles um, for the foreseeable future so i just wanted to show this and zoom this in because yours truly was kind of on there <laughs> and right there there you have it that's a pretty cool innovative thing i know some people have speculated saying in the states like la could use lucid airs as well but i feel like especially with saudi arabia and but i feel like this is a pretty cool thing and hopefully this does develop into a little bit more so yeah interesting stuff actually i think it was just the one right there but yeah a lot of good opportunity for lucid in the foreseeable future whether it be out of saudi arabia or maybe um from the amp one in local so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below today there has been no recent analyst rating so obviously there was one yesterday from rbc that did come down the pipeline as far as options go so there was about three hundred eighty-one thousand dollars in calls being purchased versus 1.21 million inputs sentiment wise still somewhat evenly divided so 52 percent of all the options being done today were bearish and of the call options that are being purchased you can kind of see there's a consensus for it to be above three dollars 
dollars and just looking at the open interest though you do see a huge wall at three dollars so if lucid somehow in the foreseeable future next couple weeks is able to close above three dollars you are going to see market makers covering so for instance february the 16th there's currently thirty thousand in open interest at that three dollar strike price 15,000 for next Friday and there was 21,000 did expire worthless but if Lucid is able to close above that then you are going to see a nice kind of bump up in the stock price as market makers do cover that so that's something to kind of consider looking at puts though it is anticipated to be sub two dollars by the end of uh, looks like in the next couple of weeks so kind of opposite extremes when it comes down to the technicals but moving on though with it closing at two dollars and 65 cents it is trading between this s1 and the pivot kind of bounced both extremes um, so 258 is going to be that next strong support kind of bounced off of that uh, generally same as yesterday as well and this is why I love to do options because yesterday when it was selling off what's the best thing to do at that stage you either buy cheap calls or potentially you sell puts so yesterday I sold some 250 puts I even said that in yesterday's video and that is why I love doing options because they did expire worthless and if lucid was to have dropped below 250 then i get to buy it at 250 so it's kind of a win-win highly suggest in researching options if you do not know them um, but overall two dollars and 76 cents is going to be that next strong resistance kind of bounced off of that general area but today was more of a consolidation day just building up a lot of good strength and hopefully going into next week we'll be able to try again over the next couple days or i guess probably on sunday i'll do a video on some expectations of this upcoming week some data points and stuff to kind of watch for looking right here though you do see number of retail investors getting in so even though based on the volume big money wasn't necessarily getting in you see retail buying the dip um, essentially looking at stochastic you do see it at 18 so it is considered oversold but there is a deviation so red line above the black showing a bearish sediment so technicals are mixed right uh, so kind of neutral it could go in either direction i think it's going to be external circumstances that is going to influence lucid in the foreseeable future options is looking somewhat more optimistic than it was over the last couple of weeks and shorts it doesn't seem to matter whether lucid goes up down sideways shorts are just completely hell bent on destroying lucid or trying to bring it down as low as possible i'm not really sure let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that one final thing i wanted to share with you as I always do take advantage of this promo this is one of the best deals in the market simply sign up for an account with Moo throw $100 at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to $2,000 take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching